How many intros do you think we've done? How many videos have we done? Thousands. No, I think actually we've only done like 600. <laughs> Welcome back to our Super Direction TV. It's I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I'm all juicy. Go. It's so juicy. We're good now. I took my medicine. Uh, but, uh, today. Thank you for your social Patreon. Follow us on official Twitter account. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can see Godzilla in a mirror con. Yes. Uh, wow. Today, actually, yesterday. Uh, all your trouble seems so far away? Yes. There was a, another festival that we missed, so I apologize. Um... I'm sure you told me about it. Sorry. <laughs> but there's another one. It's called... Uh, Dushera. Dushera. And it was on October 8th. So yesterday. Uh, so we got two short videos uh, to kind of explain it to us. Cool. Uh, you know, one of the thousand festivals they have in India. They're, you just party all the They're time. Best of people, man. Like... Like, all, like, we don't have that many festivals here. No. Especially not ones that just everyone just celebrates. No, we've got the really mm -hmm. awesome, like... Big pumping festival days like Labor Day, <laughs> <laughs> or you go, you you get turned up on President's Day. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Let's just get Woo. into it. Here we go. Kind of felt like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood for a second. Oh wow! And then we've been invaded by a I just had a movement. Is the festival celebrated to Wait a minute. Pause. The victory of Ra Start it over. How'd you pronounce it? Dushera, I, that's what I said! Ah, shut your hole, I want to hear her pronunciation. Hold on. Dushera is the festival celebrated to commemorate well the victory of Ram over the ten-headed king of Rakshasas, Ram. Ram. Like Ram Lila? This is perhaps the most popular tale that every Indian associates with the festival of Dushera. When Sita was abducted by Ravan, Ram, along with his brother Lakshman, his follower Hanuman, and an army of ape men, waged a war against Ravan. The conflict culminated with the defeat of Ravan and his death in war. This happened on the day of Dashera. It is this occasion that people celebrate by burning effigies of Ravan. It is said that before Ram left for Lanka, he had prayed to Durga for his victory. Durga, who was associated with Shakti, had blessed Ram. Another story so that is associated with Puja? Dashera it's is the right one about it. Durga yeah, vanquishing the the Rakshas Mahishasur. Yeah. When Mahishasur wreaked havoc and had defeated all gods, Vishnu, Brahma and so Shiva wrong. combined really their powers and created Shakti in the form of Durga to destroy Mahishasur. The victory of Durga over Mahishasur is celebrated as Vijaya Dashmi or Dashera. After the three-day celebration of Durga Puja, the fourth day yeah. is celebrated as Vijay Dashmi. Gotcha. This is the last day of Durga Puja right. where the idols of Durga right. are consigned to water. Right. A lesser known story that is associated with Dashara is that of the Pandavas. After the Pandavas lost the game of dice to the Kauravas, they were exiled for 13 years. In the last year of their exile, the Pandavas had to live in disguise. Before they left the forest, they hid their powerful weapons under a shami tree so that nobody could find them. When they returned after a year, they found their weapons lying under the tree untouched. The Pandavas declared war on the Kauravas soon after this and won the battle against them. Since then, the exchange of shami leaves has become a custom among people as it symbolizes goodwill and victory. In many parts of the country, people worship the Shami tree on Dashera. Wow. According to another story, in Ayodhya, there lived a boy called Kautsa, the son of a Brahmin called Devdat, who had pursued his education from Rishi Varatantu. When it was time to pay his Guru Dakshina, the Rishi asked him for 140 gold coins. Unable to pay his Guru Dakshina, Kautsa requested the king to help him. Kautsa's wish was answered when Kuber, the god of wealth, showered gold coins from the sky near the Apati tree. Kautsa collected the gold coins and gave his Guru Dakshina. He distributed the remaining coins to the poor on the day of Dashera. Since that day, people have offered leaves of the Apati tree to each other, considering them to be a symbol of gold. The festival of Dashera also marks the beginning of the war season. 
It is said that in ancient times, kings used this feather <laughs> to cross borders and fight against their neighboring enemies. This custom was known as Simolangan. The celebration of Dashera in India, however, started in the 17th century when the king of Mysore had ordered for the celebration of the occasion on a large scale. Since then, the festival of Dashera has been celebrated with great pomp and enthusiasm. This festival is symbolic as it enables people to win over their fears and celebrate the victory of good over evil. Great time, yeah. Yeah, it's funny. The uh, obviously, yeah, say his name for me. The the which one? The artist. Uh, Girish Malap. Yeah, super talented. Yeah, uh, I love watching time lapse drawing like that because yeah. I that's one talent I do not have. Is oh, no. drawing. And then the voice. The voice was uh, Jutsna Sastri. She sounded like an Indian. Um, um, what, what's her name? Uh, Black Widow. Uh, oh yeah, uh, Scarlett Johansson. Yeah, she sounded like Indian Scarlett it Johansson. Did. A little bit. You're absolutely <laughs> right. <laughs> I was like, that's like a soothing voice, like right. Scarlett Johansson. It is a Scarlett Johansson a Indian voice. in it. Uh, I didn't know anything about that. Yeah, but it, I did when you said it, and you said it was yesterday because I knew that Durga Puja ended yesterday. Well, no. well, I'm gonna don't know when we're posting this, so obviously, uh, it ended on October eighth. Uh, I thought, is this what I think it is? Because, uh, and it is. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and that was really good, actually. Very informative. I think this one is like more, more of uh, the actual celebrating of it. So it's what, like, the, what the festival out of it. That's what it was about. This is what is done. Yeah, what is done, I believe. Uh, could be wrong. If it's not that, don't blame me. Blame somebody else. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Why they're doing that? They're probably getting pieces of the effigy that 
weren't fully consumed, then either they're gonna form them in and make sure they are consumed, or maybe they save part of it, I don't know. I want to get close to it. Yeah, that's cool. And I know there's, because I got sent a bunch of, uh, yeah, that's cool. That is awesome. The, they didn't explain that enough, did they? Well, I know they said they burned effigies, but I no. didn't expect it to be, I expect it to be like a calcifer here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, me too. Something small. Yeah. I don't expect them to be freaking five stories high. Yeah. And I know that the last day of Durga Puja, they, like in Calcutta, they take the images of the goddess and go submerge yeah. her in the river. I, yeah, I don't yeah. know about the burning of anything. Maybe this is at night? No, that's done at night too. Oh, is it? Yeah. There's like ceremonies that's, that are done by the priests. To end the festival, and it's the departure of the goddess, and the uh, idols go in the water. I don't know that they do that. I could be wrong. Correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the burning of the effigies. There, and there may be people who just celebrate this festival as a standalone and don't also do Durga Puja. I don't know. I would imagine. I'm learning. You have so many festivals. I know. And the first video was very informative, so I like that one. That's actually one of the most informative videos I think we've very. seen on, on, on one of the festivals, and it was obviously really well done. And then yeah. this one gave us a little more, which was really cool. And I know they dance and they shoot off fireworks as well, because I got a bunch of videos on Twitter right. of people celebrating it last night. Yeah. Uh, and there's fireworks going off everywhere. People dance and everywhere. Every festival they dance in India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. kind of just a... A standard thing. There's, there's either burning or there's colors or there's something very uh, lively going yeah. on with the festivals. Oh, and I had mentioned OSHA, this little FYI. There's, a, uh, there's an organization here called OSHA. It stands for Occupational Safety and Hazard Association. And they oversee things like this, as would the fire marshal. Mm -hmm. And so if things aren't up to OSHA standards, you can get fined or your business can be shut down. So that's why we jokingly said that's not up to OSHA standards. Oh, yeah. I... I they might celebrate this year somewhere in America, but they don't do that. If they do, uh, it's, like it needs, it like, it's going to be done out in a field, and or, they have to get the permission the, from the fire department, or in the middle of a lake, or yeah, like, like they have to do Burning Man, basically, exactly. Desert, basically. And it's got to be done like here in in SoCal. We'll have times a year. A lot of the times we'll have red flag warnings, and you can't even do bonfires or even barbecues in some places because it's too dry and it can set off brush fires. So. Oh yeah, it's fire season right now. Right now it's fire season. Uh, yeah, but man, that was cool. I, that like, was very cool. I'd like to see one of those things. Uh, hey, what are they made of? Must be just like like straw burning like, things yeah like yeah and they're loaded cool. with firecrackers and fireworks yeah. and stuff that's awesome i don't know if they're loaded with fireworks because those would just go shooting off into the well, some of them did kind of cool some of them did they went off into the <laughs> audience i was like how is that safe hey randy how'd you lose your eye well during the festival i was standing a little too close <laughs> why are they talking like that <laughs> <laughs> that's so cool though i'm uh, I'm glad. Uh, I'm glad you guys have so many festivals because it's like it seems like every single week there's another festival, there's another that, festival. that we have to learn about, uh, which is awesome. As a culture, y'all just like to party. Yeah, and as a culture, you guys are in a consistent state of having a appreciation, uh, an appreciation for life. for life, and an appreciation for the the connection between the physical and the invisible realm, and the spiritual as well as the physical. It's just really, it's very, very cool. Well, happy. Belated. Pronounce it. You didn't Corbinize it. Duchera? Right on, Corbin. I screwed it up this time. <laughs> well probably, done. They're probably like, no, you both screwed it up. <laughs>